Next, coming to the hypothalamus. Hypothalamus has numerous nuclei, but we'll try to remember the function of very specific nuclei only. Hypothalamus, it has both the endocrine functions also as well as other functions also. Hypothalamus, it is basically divided into anterior and posterior side. Suppose the anterior side and the posterior side. In that, they have three regions. Anterior region, tuberal region and posterior region. These regions are further divided into lateral zone and medial zone. The posterior region has only medial zone, but the other two areas has lateral zone as well as the medial zone. But we don't have to remember all of this. We have to remember specific nuclei function. What do they do? So let's begin with the anterior region. The anterior region, the two important nuclei, that is the supraoptic and paraventricular. This again, we'll study it in the endocrine physiology also. They are involved in production of antidiuretic hormone and oxytocin. But both the nuclei are capable of producing both the substance. But predominantly, they produce these substances. And there is a nuclei which is just in front of the optic, which is called as pre-optic nuclei. So, this pre-optic nuclei, it's further divided into medial and VLPO. What is this VLPO? Ventrolateral post pre-optic nuclei. This ventrolateral pre-optic nuclei is a must to remember. Again, in sleep discussion, we'll see that this area is a sleep promoting a center. This area is involving promoting of sleep. So, this is important again. Then, medial nuclei of preoptic, it is for thermal regulation, it responds to heat. And coming to the other nuclei, there are two important nuclei which are involved in temperature regulation. Just remember, anteriorly, one nuclei is located, anterior nuclei of the hypothalamus, which is involved in anti rise. It is already located anterior, just remember, it is involved in anti rise. So, whenever any uh, uh, we are in a hot environment, we used to sweat. So, how does that happen? Because this anti-rise is activated. So, anteriorly, we have the anti-rise temperature, anti-rise area. Then, posteriorly, we have something called as the anti-fall temperature. So, whenever there is a cold, we will vasoconstrict and try to conserve the heat. And it will act, so activate the shivering mechanism. So, these two are important nuclei. Anterior is for anti-rise, posterior is for anti-fall. Then there is one important nuclei which is called as a suprachiasmatic nucleus. All of us know that this is the nucleus which is involved in circadian rhythm and it is also called as the master clock. It is responsible for the day-night cycle. Then two more nucleus we have to remember. One is the lateral, another one is medial, which are involved in food intake. So whenever we are hungry, what we do? We take the food from the lateral side. So this lateral nucleus is involved in hunger and thirst. Just remember. So, once you have eaten, suppose I have eaten, then I will feel some fullness in my stomach. So, what does this will call? This is called as satiety. Satiety happens in the medial. So, lateral is for the food intake, thirst and hunger. Then medial is for the satiety. So, coming to the next group of nuclei, that is the tubural. This tubural, this tubural we have several divisions. One is the dorsomedial, ventromedial, arcuate and lateral. Lateral we have already seen. Wherever lateral comes, it is for thirst and hunger. There is ventromedial, it is for satiety. Two more things we have to remember. Arcuate nucleus is also seen in cases of the, uh, in the uh, endocrine system. This is the one which is producing dopamine, prolactin inhibitory hormone. And dorsomedial is involved in emotion, BP and heart rate. Then posterior, I have already discussed. Posterior is for the cold response. So it is called as antifall. Then we have already discussed one more in the limbic system, which is the mammillary body. The mammalothalamic tract is formed with the help of this mammillary body. From here, it goes to the anterior nucleus of the thalamus. And this is also located in the posterior part of the hypothalamus. So, these few nuclei, we have to try to remember it.